Broncos country, what is going on? We got some free agency news to talk about. We have possibly a new swing tackle, Matt Pert, signing with the Broncos on a one-year deal. What does this mean in terms of Cam Fleming returning? We'll get into that, as well as uh, Justin Sternad has decided to re-sign with the team. So that's really cool. We'll break it all down. Let me go ahead and get my screen share going. Y'all be sure to hit that like comment and we're on our way to 500 subs baby so hit that subscribe probably notice the setup's a little bit different out traveling seeing some family so y'all bear with me on this setup it's the best that i can do right now so matt pert signing i believe is a one-year deal with the broncos swing tackle has nice size okay six seven 318 pounds Third round draft pick from the New York Giants a few years ago. Uh, I got to be honest. If this guy is our main swing tackle, I'm a little nervous about this, okay? Uh, I'm thinking he probably better suits to be like our fourth tackle or like our backup to the swing tackle, right? Uh, um, not particularly strong outside of his rookie year. It seemed like he had a, a very nice... Uh, year run blocking again a 69.7 gray in 2020 that is really solid but we've seen him kind of regress uh over the years and then this past year i mean this is just an awful run blocking grade right here 34 uh, and then an overall offensive blocking rating of 42.9 uh to put this in perspective guys i was hoping we'd be able to keep cam Fleming because even though cam fleming isn't the best tackle he's at least somewhat okay <laughs> He, he's okay for a swing tackle you'll see here graded out much better in the run blocking game by over 10 points here as well as in the pass blocking and only one penalty so that's that's really nice and i mean you look at his season grades i mean he's been in the league for a lot more and uh, a lot uh, many more years but you can see here he's he's a pretty decent pass blocker needs to grow in the run game but he was somebody I, ho I was hoping that we'd bring back as our main swing i think that's a little unlikely right now with matt pert coming here again signing this one-year deal uh, i don't really have huge expectations uh, for him maybe we're able to get the best season out of him yet but i think right now what my hope is is that the broncos do draft uh, a, a developmental tackle in the mid rounds with one of our eight picks this year. And hopefully that guy kind of serves as our main tackle off the bench. Matt Pert just there to provide some added insurance. Y'all let me know what you think about this signing, but not necessarily one that I'm like going crazy over. And we have yet, according to spot track with Cody Barton, Matt Pert, Justin Sternad, don't have any of their cap figures yet on spot track. So our cap space, my guess, it's probably around four to five million, right? Uh, at at most. Well, I guess that Cody Barton is a one year, three and a half million dollar deal. So we, we might have even less than that. So let's just say the cap hit is that same. So we got probably a little over two million dollars to, to spend right now or so Coral and Sutton still on the roster I think that's a good thing I think it helps with a young rookie quarterback having a veteran receiver veteran security blanket I like Cortland Sutton now Justin Sternad he didn't play any snaps at inside linebacker this year but uh, was really solid on special teams as the year went on 73.1 it's a great grade so having his best year as a special teamer this past year seven tackles that's that's great so if uh, if we can have Another season like that from Justin Sternad, that would be great. But that is purely a special teams re-signing. Y'all know special teams are, are really important. We can win and lose games from the third phase, and we need to be shored up on our coverages on special teams for sure. Justin Sternad helps with that. So I like that. But y'all let me know, uh, what do you make about this Matt Perth signing? Uh, I it's It's interesting. It's interesting. I was hoping that we would have been able to bring back Cam Fleming, but I think that is pretty improbable right now. So y'all let me know. I did finish the cut up of at my Alex Forsyth uh, review 
we're going to take a look at all of his snaps against the Rams in preseason last year. So be on the lookout for that tomorrow. That will be really exciting. But again, do you guys think this means we draft a tackle? How do you feel about Matt Pert being the official swing tackle? So y'all let me know what you think in the comments. Again, appreciate all the love. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, y'all, go Broncos.